Hello friends, Jesse here. Uh, guys, I'm so excited to, uh, excited at the moment because it's another day that Christ is given to us. But my heart, my heart is breaking because of just the vision that I saw about the end time. You know, I'm I'm here at work. I know I look uh I look dirty because <laughs> I work with woods and then dust everywhere. So I just want to share this. I don't want you to ignore this. There is a lot of people, a lot of people that I saw in a vision. A lot of people missed the opportunity to go to heaven. A lot of people miss it. There's a lot of people that miss to go be face to face with Jesus Christ. So this is the vision that I saw. I saw to a vision to a vision that God was trying to show me that uh, there were a lot of people that was waiting until the judgment day. There were a lot of people that lived the life in sinful way and they was waiting until the judgment day until the judgment they get closer the second coming of god they was hoping to uh to um that for god to have mercy on them they was hoping that uh, uh on the judgment day they would pass they would go through to be with jesus christ but there's a lot of people that are so t i i see it to a vision that a lot of people has missed to go to heaven a lot of people went to hell. And you may not believe what I'm saying. But this is what the, I felt the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell some of you. There was something that uh, uh, if you go to school or you went to school, you know that uh, before the, the exam, you need to study. Before the finals you gotta study you gotta prepare yourself for the exam or for the final you got to prepare your mind you got to study to a place where you know what god you know what you got you're gonna do to the finals and God was saying, there's a lot of people, they are waiting for the exam. They are waiting for the, 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 the end whenever they don't leave according to my word. There's a lot of you that you are waiting to get close to the judgment day. And I saw to a vision that a lot of people went to hell. I saw to a vision that a lot of people miss the opportunity. I saw to a vision that uh, there's a lot that was waiting. Like, man, now it's a now it's a day of uh, the final. Now it's a day of exam. Like I need to pass to pass this, but because they did not live for Christ, because they did not prepare themselves to. Uh, to be ready whenever Christ is about to come. I saw a lot of people that, that went to hell. And then God was saying, there's a lot of people that uh, they're not ready for me. Just like he showed me to give this an example for you guys that uh, whenever you're about to take a final, whenever you're about to go take an exam, that you prepare yourself for that exam. You prepare yourself so you can study to get ready for the exam. But if you shows up to the exam that you did not study, you have 100% to fail. Now, a lot of people in a day of the Lord, he's coming soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon. There are some of you that you are waiting. You're not preparing yourself for the coming of the Lord. You're not preparing yourself spiritually to be prepared whenever God will come. Because the Bible says nobody knows the day 
or the hour that Jesus Christ will come. That's why whenever you, you, uh, your school, they tell you to study for the exam, you, you got to study. You got to prepare yourself. You got to put all the, uh, all the study in your mind. You got to put all the formula, um, to get ready for the exam. Now, there's a lot of you that you are waiting until the day of the exam. You think like you're going to pass it, but you, in, instead you will fail. If you never prepare yourself for the exam, if you never prepare yourself that uh, I want to pass this exam, so I'm going to study. Because that's the reason why people the study that to, to, uh, to pass the finals. Because if uh, they say the final is about math, but you did not even study about math, and you shows up to the exam, you're going to fail. I saw a lot of people, if you're ignoring this, I, I saw to a vision, a lot of people has missed heaven. I saw a lot of people went to hell. But it is not too late. It is not too late to change that. Because there is still hope in Christ Jesus. Because to the vision, whenever I saw it, Christ said it directly. That I want you to tell my people that for those of you, you waiting until the end so you can pass the judgment of God. Those are the people that went to hell. And those who were preparing themselves. Those who were preparing themselves. Because I have like whenever I was I was having that vision and then I started just praying about this. And then I remember one time in uh in high school, I was doing uh my, my finals and then uh I missed one point. I missed only one point to pass that test. But my teacher looked at me and say, I will let you pass. Even though I was studying so hard. But my teacher said, I will give you one point so you can pass this class. You see, it is the same thing to our God. Whenever you live in this earth, everything that you are doing, but because of Jesus Christ, my God, the blood of Jesus Christ, whenever God look at you, he won't see your sin, but he will see the blood of Jesus Christ. He's saying, even when you're a bad person, because you have lived in this earth for my son, the blood of Jesus Christ covers you. You can come in my kingdom. But for those of you who are ignoring God, for those of you who are ignoring to live for Christ, I'm here to tell you, I saw to a vision, a lot of people went to hell. I got to say the way I saw it. A lot of people went to hell. The reason why, because there were a bunch of people that they were waiting until to the end so they can give their life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says it this way. Today's promise, but tomorrow it is not. Today it is promised, but tomorrow is not. I don't know what tomorrow hold. I, you don't know if you get inside of the car, you're probably going to die today. I'm probably going to die today. So every day I am preparing myself like I'm going to die today. Every single day I wake up in the morning, I thank God. I wake up in the morning, I, I'm doing my best to live for Christ every day. But there's a lot of people that you're not preparing yourself for the coming of Jesus Christ. You're not preparing yourself. Just like I saw it to the vision and Christ told me to give you guys an example of student, of someone that you go to school, that if you are preparing for the exam, you got to study. You got to prepare yourself for the finals. You, I, I, I saw like people that go to college, whenever it's a final day, even school, they prepare themselves. They don't go out anymore. They prepare themselves mentally so they can be ready for the finals. They cut off some things that it's bringing distraction. They say, I got to spend this hour to study. I got to spend this hour to study so I can pass the finals. But whenever it come about Christianity, there's a lot of people ignore about living for Christ. There's a lot of people that ignore about the lifestyle of Christianity. Those are the people I saw in a vision that miss heaven, that went to hell. Those of you are 
ignoring to live for Christ in this earth. Those of you ignoring to live for Christ, to be a in fire for Christ as you still in life because whenever you die there is no chance for you it's done completely done that's why every breath of life you have right now don't waste it to satisfy your sinful nature I saw to a vision there are many that even those who they thought that they was living for Christ but instead they wasn't they was not preparing themselves. That's what the Bible say. Jesus Christ will come like a thief in the night. Whenever a thief come in your house, you got no time to, to, to know like he was there. He does not tell you like I'm coming. He was just going to show up. But if you don't prepare yourself spiritually, mentally, and physically, I am saying it as I saw in a vision. There, there's a lot of people that went to hell. There's a lot because a lot of people was not preparing themselves whenever they was living in this earth. Just like if you don't prepare yourself for the exam, if you're going to school or you're going to any college, if you don't prepare yourself to study, if you don't prepare yourself to do some exercise, to, uh, if you don't prepare yourself, you will fail. Now, it will be worse in that day. It will be worse. I hope that someone hears this message without ignoring it. I hope. That's my prayer. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's coming soon, believe it or not. If you are wasting your time to drinking alcohol, woman, going out, party, uh, all those sinful things, you will miss heaven. You will go to hell. But I'm not here to tell you that's the end because you still have the breath of life. You still have hope. And that hope, it is in Christ Jesus. So if you hear this message, if you know that you're not living for Christ, it is simple. Get to your knees. Cry out to your father because I never see a parent, I never see a father that hears his uh, daughter or son's voice crying out and they just leave them alone to cry themselves. I never seen that kind of parent. But I always see a parent that I remember whenever I was a kid, every time I would raise my hand whenever my parents comes home, every time I would raise my hand and just reach out to them and they would carry me. They would carry me because I just reach out my hand to them because they know my child wanted me to carry him. Same thing to our father. That whenever you, you lift up your hands, whenever you cry out to him, he will come and snatch you out from the hand of the enemy. He will come and take you out from darkness. He will come take you out from anxiety. He will come take you out from a, a, a depression. He will come to take you out from anger. He will come to take you out from things that you never expect that God would do. So if you're not living for Christ, I ain't even talking to Christian because there's a lot of uh, Christian that they think like if they go to a church, they read the Bible, they pray in tongues, they do whatever, that they will go to heaven. That's not your insurance. Going to church, that's not your insurance at, at all. If you're that type of Christian, you think like if you go to church on Wednesday, Sunday, you pray for people, you evangelize, you prophesy, you you pray for people to get healed, you pray for demon, demon will flee. If you think that's your insurance, that's not it. You missed completely. You missed the gospel. And even Christian, there are some people that are there are Christian, they will go to hell. Because in the Bible, it, it, it say in that day, in that day, many, 
Many will prophesy. Many will say God will prophesy your name. Many will say God will, will cast out demon in your name. But I will say to them, I never knew you. Get away from me. So, even Christians, there are some that will miss. Because if you don't have a lifestyle of Jesus Christ, if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, if you never make Jesus Christ your Savior and Lord, you will miss the opportunity that Christ has given to us. Jesus Christ is the answer, believe it or not. I know what I'm talking about. I know where God started with me. There's only one true God. There's only one Savior, and that is Jesus Christ. All the gods are false. Only the God that we serve is a true living God. I love you guys, and then I pray that you guys really start living the lifestyle that Christ wants you to live. May God bless everybody, and I pray that you guys have a blessed day.